Yeah. Full episode of this podcast can be seen for free. Click the link in the bio chat. Let's get it. Do y'all ever look back at some of y'all interviews and and just see or some of the shit is kind of eerie to me, like it's prophetic. Like it's man, that interview y'all yeah, had. Yeah, I'm a little sick, ain't gonna lie, sir. And there's so many parts yeah, that people highlight people like, damn, this conversation is uh, it's been crazy. With Doug it really hurt. Because, you know, Thug is one of the most solid. For, how did I even get set up? You tried to tell that I've never seen him like that on any of the Thug called us. Yeah. Because Thug, Thug always talks shit to Gil about that game. And, yeah. He's like, nigga, as soon as I'm done, we got an interview, nigga. I don't know what I mean. Because y'all think you beat him. Yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. And then we always was cool. So he had the first time, then he did that. And the second time, I'm coming like, come back down here, man. Let's do another. And we just go in the studio and like, then we, we we always think of different and creative ways that so the first one we went down and we interviewed him. So when he was like, come down again, we was like, all right, what's a different way we could do it? Can you have a whole click there? Because the album could because this what happened is when we went the first time, he had a board there with all these songs there to him. I'm telling you, man, how many fuck them up that's coming out. Told that nigga now we'll be now. For the crew. I'm like, man, you Man, put that shit out of you, bullshit. Yeah, tell me, watch, man. watch, no captain coming. And then, he called us, like I told you. Come on back down. We went down there. That was so sick, bro. It just was a crazy joint because everybody was in there. And it was just, it was just, you know, man, it was a crazy, good video, environment. Great and, and, and you gotta stand, we did an interview, but we was there probably for like six hours outside of it. We just talked about life. We talked about a lot of shit. Uh, it helped a lot of people, too. How'd that get For sure, yeah, for sure. We because he fucked with us. Like, like one thing about this, when you come to Million Dollars Worth of Game, it ain't no landmines. This nigga ain't asking me no dumb shit. He ain't coming at me about no dumb shit. So you just, and we already talk all the time on the phone and shit. Laughing and the joke, oh man, he say some shit, you know what I mean, about whatever. But it's like, people enjoy fucking with us because we ain't not asking you no dumb shit. We don't care about no dumb shit, bro. And what you see is what you get. So it's not like, I see Gilly and then he's somebody else. I see Wallow and then he's somebody else. No, we come right in there having fun. We busting on niggas. We playing around. We, cause that's what we do, man. There's a you see, from the time. time you got out the car, we've been saying all kinds of shit. That of dick don't work. No, dick going out all day. We've been saying all kinds of shit. Hey, look, you need the dick doctor. Nah, 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 no, 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 no,
So it's a little different. Like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, we really know each other. I really seen you when- I need me an old head to guide me in the right, the right way. You feel me? In the right mindset. You feel what I'm saying? So go with this one. Go with that. Didn't have nothing to- <laughs> The day you came in the motherfucking studio when after you cut your braids and you had the brush a hey, three minutes trying to get your waves right to the to the seeing you get five thousand a show and then like three months later that shit jumping up to fifteen thousand. Like I knew you from then, so it's a little different. You feel what I'm saying? Uh so with us they respect us from a street standpoint. Then on top of that, it's like when we go to them, they don't ask no dumb shit. We they might bust on us, they might say some dumb shit, they might we might bust on them. Yeah. Man, you peanut head ass niggas, man. This it's all fun and games. We just here to make you think, laugh, and cry if it come to that. If it come and we talking to an artist that we really fuck with because the bottom line is we only get motherfuckers that we want. A label can't call to so say, uh, we got Johnny Donut. Can <laughs> we get that lot, don't you? What? We got Johnny Donut and Delaware and Donnie and Jersey Joe and, and how much was that? I could pay almost for the dad. All of them. Hopefully this year, really. Because we like to look at ourselves as this, bro. Everybody's doing their thing. But we always got to separate ourselves in some way. With the boutique of podcasts. Mm. We don't want everybody. Oh, Sherry is a three-time author. Where the book? We don't give a fuck about that shit. So I'll take that shit somewhere else. Congratulations, Sherry. Send me your link so I can purchase one of your motherfucking books. You're not coming on here, though. And we, we, we directed our shit towards the youth. The niggas that's going on tomorrow. Because we know the next little dirt is sitting back. Like, I'm going to get on that motherfucking couch. The next the baby is sitting back. The next little baby. The next J. Cole. The next Drake. The next LeBron James. They like, I'ma get on that fucking couch. And you know what? You is, nigga. Just keep putting that work in. For sure. And we coming for you. For sure. How y'all look? Already got an ad, bro. How do y'all avoid controversy? We, we stay away from the bullshit. Stay away from controversy. Now, you gotta understand this. Uh, we don't care what nobody else is doing. We in our own world. We don't like, we, 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 we do good business. We do good deals. And we just cut to the chase, man. You ask us about Joe, man. We ain't worried about that shit, man. No, no, no. I'm gonna ask you about that. But Jake, we know what you try to get to. No, no, no. We ain't worried no, no, about no, that shit. No, no, I'm gonna ask you about some controversial shit. You want me to ask you what we do? We get to like this. I had a, I had a conversation with, with a couple friends. Educated friends of mine, and I said, I give you for example, God. I said we don't even know what y'all think about that shit. I've never heard y'all speak on it. But y'all are the niggas who have cornered the market, in my opinion, that is super serving content to people who's in those communities that would care about that subject. Y'all never spoke on it. You know what I said? I said, man, I said, gonna drop some good music, man. Somebody said to me, they said, act, listen, if he coming back, he about to do an interview, we'll have to do an interview at some point, he should do it too. I said, uh, I don't know if I'm the right platform. I said, you need to go get Gillian Wallow. He did them for the pod. I'm going to say, say this right here. I'm going to just leave it here. Uh, a lot of times when it comes about it. Street business, we still. Alright, y'all, this is the end of the video, man. I'm gonna like this video, comment, subscribe, put a little for the videos on the ground, too. And I'm out, bro. Being loud the whole time.